Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie. I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we will break down antihypertensive drug management into five easy to follow steps based on UK NICE guideline 2019. We will look at blood pressure targets under different conditions and then discuss first choice option for special scenarios such as CKD and diabetes. We will discuss management of resistant hypertension and then looking at options for managing side effects of different drugs. Stay tuned, coming right up. Hypertension is a very common condition in the UK where the pressure inside the artery is unusually high leading to serious conditions such as heart attack or stroke. We will cover lifestyle management and hypertension in pregnancy in the future video. Let's look at hypertension treatment targets. Generally, for patients under the age of 80, we should aim for clinic blood pressure of below 140 and 90. And for patients over the age of 80, for clinic blood pressure target of below 150 and 90. You can use ambulatory blood pressure monitoring or home blood pressure monitoring with slightly lower target of 135, 85 and 145, 85 respectively. For diabetes patient, NICE now suggests the same target as mentioned, but for UK Quaff Incentive Scheme, we suggest the target of below 140 and 80. For patient with end organ damage or diabetes with complication or kidney disease, we suggest the target of below 140 and 80. Usually, a single antihypertensive drug treatment is inadequate and the patient will require additional drugs added in a stepwise manner. Doses doubling at each review, such as every four weeks, until the control is achieved. Aiming for maximum dose is possible. Step 1. Special cases. Patient with heart failure offer thiazide light diuretic such as indapamide 2.5 mg once daily. This is preferred to bendroflumethiazide. More on chronic heart failure in a future video. Patient with diabetes or CKD with ACR more than 30 should be offered ACE inhibitor such as Rabipro 2.5 mg. Patients who are Black, African or Caribbean should be offered angiotensin receptor blocker ARB such as Losartan 50 mg once daily in preference to angiotensin receptor inhibitor. This is due to the risk of angioedema. This ARB preference in the black population apply to all steps. Step 2. Patients who are under the age of 55 who are not black African or Caribbean offer ACE inhibitor or ARB. Patients who are over the age of 55 or being black African or Caribbean at any age offer calcium channel blocker such as amlodipine 5 mg once daily. Step 3. If blood pressure is not controlled in step 2 at maximum dose, you can offer the patient a combination of either AC, AD or CD. A being ACE inhibitor or ARB, C being calcium channel blocker and D being diuretics. Step 4. If the blood pressure is still not controlled in step 3, despite maximum treatment, offer a triple combination of ACD. And this can be a maximum dose of Ramipro 10mg, Amlodipine 10mg and Indapamide 2.5mg. Step 5. If blood pressure is still not controlled, despite maximum step 4, this is now considered a resistant hypertension. Consider ambulatory blood pressure or home monitoring blood pressure to confirm elevated blood pressure 
discuss adherence with patient, consider referral to hypertension clinic, or consider adding on the fourth drug. Check renal function to check the level of potassium. If the potassium is below 4.5 with good renal function of more than 60, prescribe patient spironolactone at low dose of 25 mg and then repeat the blood test again at 4 weeks. If potassium level is more than 4.5 or renal function EGFR is below 60, consider prescribing alpha blocker such as doxorosin 1 mg once daily or beta blockers such as atenolol or bisoprolol at 5 mg once daily. Let's discuss particular about different drugs more specifically. When using ACE inhibitor or ARB, check baseline renal function and again at two weeks and after every change, looking for a rise of creatinine by 20% or a reduction in EGFR by 15% or a rise of potassium of more than 5.5, in any of these circumstances, stop the drug. If the patient experiences side effects of ACE inhibitor, such as cough, switch the patient to ARB. Initial hypotension can also occur. In this circumstance, switch to nighttime dosing. Calcium channel blocker can interact with simvastatin, so switch this patient to atorvastatin. Calcium channel blocker can also cause swelling ankle side effects, especially at higher dose, switch this patient to diuretics. For diuretics, check renal function at two weeks, and if potassium drop below 3.5 or EGFR drop below 25, stop the medication. Doxorosin can be increased up to 16 mg, for dosage more than 8 mg, the dose needs to be split into twice daily dosing. Beta blocker can be useful in younger age group and women of childbearing potential and patients with anxiety and heart failure. Although, avoid using beta blocker in patients with asthma. If you enjoy this content, why don't you check out my video on diagnosis of hypertension and hypertensive emergency. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my GP Team Academy channel and until next time.